Well, despite the bad weather today, it was still game on around here in minor league baseball. Yeah, it was. And these teams will do just about anything to put people in the seats. We have the story of one promotion that still has some legs. Yeah, you could say that. CBS 21 News Sports Director Jason Bristol joins us live in the studio tonight. So, Jason, does it involve a local team? Well, guys, it does now. Part of the story was supposed to be made into a movie. For some reason, though, it just never got off the ground. Okay, so it didn't go Hollywood. But one of the main characters involved is now living and playing in York. It's a shame that old racehorses can't go into broadcasting or sign book deals because this one has a great story to tell. Maybe you've heard of him. Back to last, Zippy Chippy. Zippy Chippy, the thoroughbred who had no zip and wasn't very chippy either. He started 100 races during his career and lost all 100, including this one at Penn National. Zippy's last, yay! And Zippy was so dreadful and so grumpy, some tracks banned him altogether. But he had his fans, though we're not sure if Jose Herrera falls into that category. You're part of minor league history. <laughs> I don't even know, you know. Jose is a player for the York Revolution, stretches before every game. Not unlike 10 years ago, when he loosened up, hoping not to lose. The Rochester Red Wings, the team Jose was playing for back then, came up with this crazy idea and asked Jose if he'd play along. Then I say, okay, I, I, yes, I'm gonna, I'm gonna compete with the horse, <laughs> you know? So the Red Wings put some cones in the outfield and boom, instant promotion. And really, this was the first great race of the 21st century. I mean, you had horse versus Herrera. After the race, man, my leg, my hamstring, my calves, you know, a lot of pain because uh, I'm running, I running too fast. But was he fast enough? <laughs> On a sunny night in mid-August, <laughs> it finally happened. <laughs> Jose left the line like a track star, and Zippy stalled like an old truck. The race was over in seconds. Zippy had lost again. And I beat it. I tell you, I tell you, guy, I beat it. Zippy's owner had a slightly different opinion. I think he let Jose win that way he can feel good. That's the way he is. Still, Jose felt even better when he was carried off the field like a hero. Not sure if that was necessary since the horse's career wins equaled zero. I don't expect to die. They, they hold me and jump in me like, a, like a, we won the, the championship something. You know, <laughs> yeah, that's a good moment, you know. And what happened to that gelding that never got to the winner's circle? Well, just last month, Zippy was brought to a retirement home for horses near Saratoga, New York. There he eats and plays and is a four-legged tourist attraction. It's sort of like having a movie star move in that I have access to and can go play around with and feed him mints and take his picture and, and just enjoy. In other words, this lovable loser is still loved. And while Zippy has stopped racing, Jose Herrera keeps going even though he's now 37. So you could say that Jose has beaten Zippy Chippy once again. And Zippy later raced two other players from the Red Wings and beat both of them. That's right, he won, including Darnell McDonald, who now plays for the Boston Red Sox. McDonald actually wants a rematch now for charity. I asked Jose if he'd be interested in racing Zippy Chippy again. He told me no. Jose is too old now. Jason Bristol, CBS 21 News. Great story, Jason. I'm glad Zippy is in retirement.